In this video, we'll answer the question of when NaCl is put in water, do we have an acetic, basic, or neutral solution? To answer that question, we have some rules here that'll help us, and then we need to figure out what the reactants, the acid in the base, were that produced the NaCl. So in this neutralization reaction, we have hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide, they're aqueous, dissolved in water. When they react and neutralize each other, that's what produces the NaCl and the water. It's a classic neutralization reaction. So we have our equation, and now we need to identify whether these are strong or weak. And the best way to do that is to have it memorized, just the most basic or general ones. So this chart here kind of shows us what the strong acids, strong bases, weak acids, and weak bases are. I encourage you to memorize these. Let's see, we have HCl. Here's HCl. That's a strong acid. So I'm going to write just SA up here, strong acid. And then NaOH is right here. That's a strong base. So I'll write SB for strong base. So we have that. Let's go look at the rules to see what the pH will be when NaCl is dissolved in water. So we have a strong acid and a strong base. So here's strong acid and strong base. So a strong acid and a strong base, the pH will remain neutral at 7. So if we have NaCl dissolved in water, that's going to be neutral. pH will be 7. This is Dr. V answering the question whether sodium chloride in water is acetic, basic, or neutral. It's neutral. Thanks for watching.